Corey Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. Wow, how things change quickly up here. We just got off the river this morning, had a tough crossing, but got back to camp, had a coffee, relaxed, figured we'll chill for the day. And this window of opportunity has just opened. This Ken Borg flight is going to Fort Conger empty. landed at Fort Conger. The twin otter here made a perfect landing and now we're just bouncing along until we uh, taxi to their stopping position. Wow, amazing history and amazing landscape both in one place. In an hour or two to see if I can't try to bring something together in a small painting while I'm here. Yeah, normally when I'm painting I'm often pushed by the wind or the weather, the conditions to try to get something done quickly, but uh, this is a little different. I'm working under the constraints of a plane that's gonna take off real soon, in about an hour or so. Wow, it's like walking right into history. These are the old houses that Piri made from the Greeley house over there. That was way too big to suit the environment. And it's uh, such an intact representation of early Arctic exploration and discovery. And it's all right here on this, in this incredible wilderness up in Katernapak National Park. One of our Canadian uh, historic sites, just uh, amazing. You've got old bed posts and in the home you've got old wood stoves. It tells such an interesting story of not just their quest for discovery, but the sad fate that many of them encountered during their very, very harsh and tragic uh, Arctic travels. Now I'll see if I can find something to sketch from here too. It's been a very brief stay, but I did have a chance to come in closer and check out these uh, buildings firsthand. And just trying to do a quick little sketch before I go, there's no time to pull the oils out over here. This is just fantastic. I, I just wish I had more time to to, to just absorb the history that sits on this site. To have any time here at all is certainly a very fortunate thing, and so uh, I'll take what I can get here, pack up and run back for the plane so we don't keep anybody waiting. Uh, yeah, I forgot that we're by the ocean and I wasn't quite counting on the tide situation, and I'm almost gonna lose my painting gear. <laughs> Jeez, whoa, hey boy. That was quick. Hey. I better, not only is the plane leaving, but oh, the easel's almost floating. You know, it's funny, sometimes you plan all the time in the world to get something, and uh, when you're rushed, sometimes you just kind of, I don't know, kick in the instincts and go with what looks good the first time you see it. And in this case, it wound up being the best thing I've seen, even after going closer. It's uh, not just about the buildings, it's about the lighting and the landscape, and it all pulled together nicely. So I look forward to working on this some more back home if I can get out of here. Evacuation time is in order. Oh man, it's coming to you. Ah, I can't get this closed now either. Everything's put away wrong. Painting in here. Here it goes. Let's see how waterproof these are. Whew, made it. <laughs> <laughs> 